This demonstration will feature the two-piece stem and repair unit method for crown injuries. The following procedure should be followed when repairing all steel radial constructed tires. Careful inspection is of major importance to ensure a properly repaired tire. Thorough inspection will help prevent returning an unsafe tire to service. After locating the injury, mark the area with a tire crayon. If present, remove the injuring object. Use a TRT-105 injury measuring tool to determine the size and angle of the injury. Shown is the correct method to find the size and angle of the injury. If the angle exceeds 25 degrees, a two-piece repair system must be used. The injury has been determined to be 10 millimeters, 3 eighths of an inch. Now refer to the tech two-piece repair chart in Repair Manual RM5 to determine the proper size repair unit. We are repairing a radial truck tire. We know the injury in this tire is in the crown area. And our injury size is 10 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch. The proper repair unit for this two-piece repair is the 112. After removing the inspection tool, pre-clean a large area of the inner liner by applying Tech 704A Rubbermatic Rubber Cleaner. While the area is still moist, use a rubber scraper to remove contaminating substances. This process should be repeated two or three times to guarantee complete removal of contaminants such as silicone mold lubricants used in the tire's manufacturing process. The important thing to remember is that the area must be cleaned so the repair will properly bond to the casing. After locating the injury, mark the area with a tire crayon. Use the appropriate carbide cutter, in this case a CC10 in a low speed drill, maximum 1200 RPM to prepare the injury. Following the angle of injury, Begin drilling from the inside of the tire with the drill turning in a clockwise direction. The low speed drill eliminates the possibility of scorching the rubber. Repeat this process at least five times when repairing a truck tire. If repairing a passenger tire, repeat this process a minimum of three times. Now repeat this process five times from the outside of the tire to assure proper injury preparation. Proper drilling with the appropriate size carbide cutter ensures complete damage removal while preventing further injury growth. Cement the injury from the inside of the tire using Tech 760 chemical vulcanizing fluid and a spiral cement tool with a clockwise rotation. This procedure should be repeated three to five times depending on the thickness of the tire. It's important to leave the cement tool in the injury as you proceed to the next step. Now remove the blue poly from the stem. Apply Tech Chemical Vulcanizing Fluid to the tapered area of the stem. Then remove the spiral cement tool and immediately push the wire through the injured area. Next, from the outside of the tire, grasp the wire with a pair of pliers and begin to pull the stem through the tire. Continue pulling the stem until 3 mm 1 8 inch to 6 mm 1 quarter inch remains above the inner liner surface. Center the appropriate repair template directly over the injury and mark around its perimeter to serve as a guide for buffing. Next, using a fine grit inner liner buffing wheel on a low RPM air tool, mechanically buff the stem flush to the inner liner. Continue buffing within the previously outlined repair area. Buffing the inner liner to an RMA number one or number two texture assures proper adhesion of the repair unit to the tire by creating a clean, even velvet texture. Do not exceed 5,000 RPM. If the speed of the air tool exceeds 5,000 RPM, scorching of the rubber surface will occur 
which will greatly reduce the adhesion of the repair unit to the inner liner. Using a soft wire brush on a low RPM tool, lightly buff from the right side of the prepared surface to the left side. You may need to repeat this process a second time to assure all buffing dust and steel shavings are removed. Do not use a compressed airline for this procedure. The airline may contain moisture and oil that will contaminate the buff surface. Vacuum all buffing dust and steel shavings from the tire. Avoid touching the buff surface with the vacuum. This will lead to contamination of the buff surface. Next apply a thin, even coat of chemical vulcanizing fluid number 760 to the buff surface of the inner liner. Do not apply vulcanizing fluid to unprepared surfaces. This could lead to contamination of the repair area. Allow approximately 3 to 5 minutes to dry. Additional drying time is required in cold and humid climates. Make sure the beads of the tire are in a relaxed position before installing the repair unit. Break the perforation of the blue poly backing on the repair unit. Peel the blue poly approximately halfway back. Center the repair unit directly over the injury. Place the center of the repair down first. Press down the center with your thumb and then stitch the repair unit down from the center out. This process removes any air which might be trapped between the repair unit and the inner liner of the tire. Exert firm pressure on the stitcher to maximize adhesion. Remove the remainder of the blue poly, then thumb, and stitch from the center out. The repair should also be stitched in the opposite direction to ensure that no air is trapped under the repair. Remove the clear poly from the repair unit. Tech repairs are designed for easy identification. If you are repairing a tube type tire, cover the repair with Tech Tire Talc number 706 to prevent the repair unit from vulcanizing to the tube. When repairing a tubeless tire, coat the buffed area with Tech number 738 security coat. Security coat assures proper air retention by coating all of the overbuffed area. In a short time, security coat will turn black, indicating that it's completely dry. The tire can be remounted before security coat has completely dried. Next, go to the outside of the tire and cut off the remaining portion of the stem approximately 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters above the tread surface. The tire can now be returned to service. This repair method has become extremely popular within the tire industry because of its simplicity while still providing a professional, permanent repair that meets all industry requirements.